Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play Space Quest 1, The Sarian Encounter. We're back in Eulens Flats Bar. I think the first thing I want to do before anything else is see what happens if I drink the beer, because I'll regret it if I don't try. The beer tastes like carbonated zipple sweat. However, considering recent events, you could learn to love it. Okay, nothing in particular happens, which is interesting. So I'm wondering if I need that. Thanks, music. Um, for some kind of later puzzle, so maybe some rocket fuel, who knows. Uh, so I will keep that in the inventory for now. And while I'm enjoying this um, reptilian trio's particular brand of music, I, I could take a, a breath of fresh air outside. It's getting a, the conversation's a bit slick on the interior dome of the, the bar there. Right, so we're going to try and avoid this shady character this time. Hopefully if we just go in a different direction and ignore them, the problem goes away. So I'll head over towards Tiny because I've got intentions uh, with Tiny now. I've got 250 buckazoids anyway. I think Tiny will start to walk over in a moment. Yeah. Well, so uh, in the process of um, reloading here, I've been ruminating on uh, just how cheeky the game is being at this point because it, I feel like it has f f pretty much forced us to use um, saving and reloading as a way of exploring the space and all the amusing deaths, of course, um, up to this point. Unless um, unless one got very lucky um, with finding all the bits uh, one needed and the way in which to obtain them. Um, so I think that's that's, that's been deployed. Um, but I think to force the player to... I mean, essentially the only way you could, you can make effective progress at this point in the game, where the only way to get money is to, is a randomised gambling machine, um, forcing the player to save and reload uh, every time they make progress just to get through that. Um, it's, it is needless busy work. I, I think it's, it's a bad design decision. I can't really justify that in any way. But at the same time, it doesn't feel too bad. I I can I feel the cheeky wink behind it, and um, I guess in real time it didn't take too long. It probably took me twenty five minutes, I'd say, to um, get the 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 full amount of buckazoids. And I think it's very good that it's uh, with again with um, with its usual sense of wit um, capped it off there. So I've already got kind of a set of parameters of what. I think I can do now. So uh, it does. Each of the segments of the games do work pretty well as as modules in themselves. I think. So there's there's a sense of unity in this area as well. Um, it's kind of. I mean, the the main theme is is transactions. Really, it's, it's all we're doing at this point. Um, which is really interesting in contrast to the the previous two as well. With the first was sort of escape, and the second survival. And they played a little bit differently. And I mean, it's really forcing the point to have to keeping, keep saving and reloading um, whilst um, <laughs> using the, the one armed bandit. But I, um, I don't know. It, I think in 1986, uh, you probably wouldn't have batted an eyelid, really. Um, you expected the games to be obtuse. You probably didn't like the arcade sequences. I, they don't really. They don't really add anything, um, but the the gambling feels more like a, a little little sly wink there. It's like, yeah, you know what's going on. These games are these games are deliberately obtuse and deliberately padded with other things um, because uh, length of gameplay is value. That that was definitely the perception at the time. I mean, that's an attitude that still persists um, for some uh, in the gaming sphere today. Um, so I, th I think it's it, it's not great. I I do think it's quite funny still. And what I like is that um, the game has told me 250 is the max. Uh, so I, I kind of got an idea of what I can do now because I've, I've made some notes of uh, what each of these things I can buy. So potentially there are four robots I could buy or three ships I could buy. Um, and we're going to try them all out now because, because why not? Um... Uh, but I think there'll only be one correct solution for each. So again, we're having to do the old 
save and reload. Um, but it's it's kind of yeah, it's it's, it's definitely baked into the structure of the game by this point. Uh, so I'll do another save here. Shopping one. All right, so let, first of all, let's try and buy this cheapest spaceship, this little module. Well, this is quite a unique little unit. Never been flown over Mac 3. Zoned by a little old lady from Glancedron. You have to fly to believe it. And she can be yours for only 99 buckazoids. Um, buy ship. I tell you, I think you've made a wise decision. She's a beauty. The keys are in her. If you have any problems, don't hesitate to come back and tell us about them. It's been a heck of a pleasure doing business with you. Well, good luck. Come again. Um, go ship. <gasps> you proudly climb into your new used spacecraft. There is definitely something unique about it. You turn the key excitedly. <laughs> What was, oh, is that our hat or something that flew off? Well, geez, guy, it seems it's developed some minor malfunction since we acquired it. We did have a small micro meteorite shower the other day. Maybe that was it. Yeah, that was probably it. Uh, much as I'd like I, to, I can't refund your money. Company policy is out of my hands. However, I can give you 70 buckazoids credit on any other ship in our fine line of you spacecraft. Look around. See what you like. So what would that leave us with? That's interesting. So the the game's not necessarily forcing us to um, play uh, some more rounds on the um, on the fruit machine, yeah. Yeah. So we're still good for a bit. So we might as well, at least with this save, um, try and buy this one. Okay. What was this one's deal again? Don't let appearances fool you. This baby may be a relic, I mean, a classic, but she's as dependable as the day we got her. And just think, you'll be the only one in the quadrant with one. I guarantee it. She's a beaut, isn't she? This little baby can do a spin around the planet in just under an hour. Look at the lines in that bodywork. You just don't make them like this anymore. You know what? You know what I mean? And she's a real bargain at 185 buckazoids. Of course, match your 70 buckazoid credit. That would come to 115 buckazoids. Let's buy the ship. I'm sure this is going to go very well. I tell you, I think you've made a wise decision. She's a beauty. The keys are in her. If you have any problems, don't hesitate to come back and tell us about them. It's been a heck of a pleasure doing business with you. Well, good luck. Come again. You shell out the buckazoids and hop in. Anxiously, you fire it up and lift off. Oh, does it? <laughs> Darn the luck consequences. You've crashed in the dunes and ended your life. The various inhabitants of the Coronian Desert are now feasting on what remains of you. Guess that wasn't such of a hot purchase. Now that's... <laughs> that's that's pretty cruel. Um, I must say. That is that is pretty cruel. Um, so you can, you can make the first error, but you can't make the second. Alright. Well, in that case, let's go straight for what I, I kind of assumed was going to be the the best prospect, which is this one. Alright, please tell me about this one, Tiny. Well, there's a man with a good eye. This here is the keenest little scrambler in the hemisphere. Top of the line, handles like a charm. Perfect for cruising the asteroid fields. And she's got all the thrust a guy could need. I tell you, she's an outright stealer of 214 buckazoids. Alright, it's most be money. I tell her, I think you've made a wise decision. She's a beauty. The keys are in her. If you have any problems, don't hesitate to come back and tell us about them. It's been a heck of a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, by the way, you're going to need a droid to help you fly that thing. Well, good luck. Come again. Yay, our score went up. Um, that's oh, that's good. I, uh, a little touch I like is that they've reused um, Tiny's Patter for each sale, which makes sense because that is what Tiny would say, exactly the same thing in the circumstances. What if I climb the ladder? Okay, um, and now look at the ship. 
seated in the cruiser. You notice there are no controls here, just a button marked load. Tiny must have been serious when he said you would need a droid, droid to fly it. Uh, can I tuck climb the ladder to go down the ladder? I can, that's amazing. Beautiful. What a beautiful game. Right, let's go over here then. Um, I kind of... I, there's absolutely no reason for this um, interstitial screen to be here, I don't think. I don't think anything's going to happen here. Um, but I kind of like the fact that it exists. It's quite pleasing. I like the... Um, the sense of contiguous space in um, in these types of graphical adventure games always quite nice. So let's go in here. Oh, welcome to Droids Be Us, the finest emporium for mechanized beings in the quadrant. We have a comp oh, it's you again. Uh, let me know if you want to buy any of the cheaper items. Okay, let's do a little save here. Uh. For shopping too. I mean, I'm pretty sure the droid on the top right was the one that was for navigation. So that's going to be the one we need to buy. So according to my information, uh, the two at the bottom, the left hand one and the middle one, both cost more than 250 uh, Buckazoid, so we'd never have been able to afford those. We can afford either of the top two. So let's go. I think the green one is is the one we don't want. So let's go get that one first. See what happens. And I don't know where we get a coupon from. I wondered if we might get one as like a gratuity from buying from Tiny, but that that wasn't the case. Well, let's see. Let's. That unit is a good all-around droid. Sure, it may seem a little dinged up, but it's not as bad as it looks. There is still quite a bit of life left in it. It is a great little companion, and for you, only 40 buckazoids, 32 with coupon. Let's get this droid. I think we have enough. Using your discount coupon, you have made... A... Where did I get a discount co coupon? Oh. Using your discount coupon, you have made a relatively decent purchase of a pre-owned sale item. <gasps> ah! His little head spins round. Follow me, droid. Are you having trouble navigating past? You are, aren't you? Oh, you make, you're going to make it. You're going to make it. Brilliant. This is exciting. Look, droid. Oh, okay. Well, let's go outside. Come on, little droidy. Let's go outside. What's your name? Hey. Look, droid. The green droid is quite small and nondescript. It is a prime example of the technological state of early robotics. Fairly primitive at best. It's amazing that it still functions. Can I talk to it? It's good. Type robot there. The little droid doesn't seem to have anything to say. Well, come on, droidy. We're gonna go into space. We've got we've got a world to save. Let's cross this vast expanse of nothingness. <laughs> you hear some zapping and popping. Oh no! Look, droid. Your newly acquired droid seems to have self-destructed. Hope it's under warranty. Get droid. The droid, while looking small, is quite heavy and not movable by you. Okay, let's walk around the droid. Right, I need to talk to the salesman. Yeah, so it's it's definitely um, the game is. Nice to see you again. Where is your little friend? Oh, I do hope nothing has happened to it, especially with it being a sale item. You did understand that sale items aren't con covered under the terms of our warranty policy, I'm sure. Uh, I'll be upstairs if you need anything. Ah, uh, you piece of... So, how did, did I have a coupon? I don't know. Maybe I did. I'll reload if... Hang on, I might need to reload because I haven't got enough buckers on it. So I have four of them. You know, out of curiosity, 
let's just see if we can play the machine again. Because I, I'm curious about the mechanics of this situation. Oh, yeah. I don't want to know about the peacemaker. Peacemaker, thank you. Um, let's not go that way because that's the back of the bar. Just, just in case, you know. Oh, that's sad. The remains of the droid. Right, where is where is consequences? Where do you walk? Consequences. Where are you? Try get you to go uh, left here. There you go. There you are. I don't know why I can't just top wire one of these spaceships, but there you go. Well, it seems to be working again because there's another patron at the machine, so... Well, I'll just wait for them to die. And then it'll all be fine. Yep, just went for this music to... Excuse me, are you going to be too long? Excuse me. Excuse me, I'd like to... That's working again, I'd like... I need some more... But, thanks. Okay. Do your job, little sweeper. Can I buy the sweeper? Can the sweeper fly the spaceship? Okay. Uh, it does seem to work. Let's see... Can we place a bet? Yeah, we can. Hopefully it's death, that'd be a good way to go out. Oh, so sorry. We're all disappointed. Okay, so it will work again when you've dipped back under 250. Good. Uh, because you can spend more than you um, need to. Alright, so we know what we need to do, actually. Well, let's check the inventory for this coupon. Cartridge, keycard, beer, plant, survival kit. The Don Army Knife. Buckazoids. Glass. Yes, I definitely don't have a coupon, but the game thinks I do, which is fine. That's absolutely fine by me. So this, if we've got a coupon, then this robot should cost 36, and we have, at this point, got 36. Okay. <laughs> right, so it's very exacting. That model is ideal for flight systems operations. It will pilot any modern fighter or cruiser, and it is one of the most experienced droids we carry. I ask only 45 buckazoids for it, 36 with coupon. I got it from some gambling type who is required to pay up or perish. Using your discount coupon, you have made a relatively decent purchase for a pre-owned sale item. Hey, hiya. Uh, uh, let's get outside so we can talk in private. Ah, oh, this animation is delightful. Look how effective that is. And it's just... What is it, moving up and down the space of two pixels? But... So effective. Beautiful. All right. Uh, look, droid. The white droid is just a little shorter than you are. Its body appears to be built of some type of light composite substance. These droids were the first truly reliable flight control systems produced, designed to pilot many different types of craft. Do you talk? Hello, Bing. I am a model QR7 pilot droid. I have navigated many different kinds of ships to many different worlds. Buzz, click and have acquired many much flight knowledge from my travels. I am most anxious to serve you, sir. Click. I hope you find my services satisfactory. My, but that's a smart looking flight suit you have on. It sure feels good to be out of that stuffy metal market. Click. I thought I was doomed to sit there and rust away. People say I talk too much. Do you think I talk too much? I don't think I talk too much. Beep. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> Brilliant. I think we found our our autopilot. Okay, I hope that's not, not signifying anything and just a randomized sound. Okay, lovely. So if I save it here, that would probably be 
prudent. Um, three flight checks. There we go. So I think there was a load button, wasn't there? So if we climb the ladder. Hey, oh, you, you've already seen the position. Thank you. Uh, press load button. What sector shall I head for, sir? Asked the droid. Uh, Xenon? I don't understand, Xenon. Okay. Uh, uh, look. Ship. Okay. Uh, talk droid. Huh. Um, go Xenon? Oh. Uh, go. Go Sarian? Um, go home. Uh, we do we do need to get to Xenon, don't we? Right to save Xenon. Oh. Press load button. The droid is already loaded, but I can't talk to the droid. Uh, close hatch. Oh. Um, fly. Ship. Okay. Uh, well, I'm sealed in the cruiser. You notice there is there are no controls here, just a button marked load. Tiny must have been serious when he said you would need a droid to fly it. Fly Z. A bit of understand Xenon. Uh, go space. Go space. That's not the way to get there. Space. Xenon. Home. Oh. Well, I'm not sure. I somehow imagine this would be easier. Well, I I did have to look this one up. Let's let's try a couple of things. So if we're just saying a place. We've got we've got Xenon. That's the planet that our character comes from. But the game doesn't understand Xenon. Uh, that's in Eonon, which is either a galaxy or a solar system, depending on various sources related to the game. I went back and had a look at the manual as well, uh, to see if there are any clues in there. But it doesn't understand Eonon. Um, Sarian. So nothing seems to to help there. Although, I think Xenon is kind of a, a logical choice, because I, I wouldn't expect a space janitor to go... Uh, racing off after uh, a stolen a stolen weapon of mass destruction, um, but apparently that is is what we need to do. And the way we find out where to go is back in the bar. So what we're going to have to do, I found out. Hey, it's easy stop again. Is um drink at the bar. So we've already got a drink in our inventory. Uh, yep, yeah, we've already bought one. Um, but we're going to need to drink more than one. So let's do. Let's get going. The beer tastes like carbonated zipple sweat. However, considering recent events, you could learn to love it. Um, let's see. The bartender is busy and cannot hear you. I guess I'll, I'll queue this up and the bartender should come along in a minute. While it be, I got beer and there's two buckazoids. There'll be two buckazoids. Thank you very much. Come again. And then I drink the beer. Gulp, gulp. And then, can I buy beer before? Oh, yeah. Before the bartender order, I can. That'll be two buckazoids. Thank you very much. Come again. All right, this should do it. As you sip another of the odd brews, you overhear someone at the bar speaking. There I was cruising through Sector HH when I spot this blip on the scanner. So I head toward it, you see, and right there in front of me sits the Deltor. It's just sitting there, my heart's, my heart's start hyperwarping on me. 
I figure my milliseconds are numbered. All I can think of doing is getting my craft out of there. So, I'm reaching for the throw. All of a sudden, there's this incredible flash of light, you see. And just like that, this little planetoid explodes into a ball of fire. I tell you, I've never seen anything like it. I mauled the throttle and got out of there quick, you bet. There we go. So, our score's just increased. That was the information we needed. Uh, so... Uh, no, no thanks, um, I'm good. So I had to go back and get extra money, so I had to reload our save because... Uh, well, let's save this first of all. Uh, at the point I'd left it after we bought both the ship and the droid because the game only gives you exactly enough money for both as a maximum. I had nothing left to gamble with, so I couldn't have made any more, so I had to reload. So, I'm going to leave the bar now and go buy our droid again. That will happen off recording, and then I'll see you back at the spaceship, right? Here we are. So it's us and QR7 back at the ship. I'm going to climb this ladder again. Okay, well, while we're here, well, I've got you captive. <laughs> Wrap for the tension. Uh, I do want to complain about this this part of the this part of this sequence, really, because I think there were there were enough indications of what you'd have to do to get money and how you might like to spend it, which is fair enough. Um, but I don't. I didn't read any hint. That we needed to get information out of the patrons at the bar um yeah as far as i can tell so any uh looking at the patrons uh trying to talk to the patrons nothing indicates that they are talkative at all i mean if the, even if the message had read something like um they're not interested in talking to you but they talk to each other g gives you a hint that there's something you might be missing out on there um so i don't know some kind of text clue would have been nice or, alternatively, just have the ship be able to go to more than one destination. So even if it was like um, a humorous uh, death, um, a brief animation, because presumably there's an animation of the ship taking off, um, and then have just like one screen where something, an amusing premature end to the story happens if you've, say, gone to Xenon. That would, that would have been cool. That would have helped um, define that you need to find an alternative plan. Even if the fruit machine um, topped out at uh, two five, uh, what would it be? Two five six. Yes, um, that would be a hint because you know you'd have you spend your two hundred and fifty on the uh, ship and the droid. But then, I mean, this is how my mind would work. Anyway, I'd be thinking. Well, why have I got an extra six? Why is the game specifically given me an extra six? Um, so that would that would have been even that would have been a clue. Um, but yeah, nothing. It's also committing one of the cardinal sins, for me at least, of adventure games, in expecting the player to repeat the same action over and over again until they get a different result, which is never a logical way of problem solving and, and never, I think, a fair expectation to place on the player. Well done to young me if I did indeed work that out myself on my original playthrough. Uh, but now uh, I believe we need to head to HH, but let's press the button. Press the load button. Get QR7 on board. What sector shall I head for, sir? Asked the droid. And we can say H H. You know what? Actually, let's save it first. Uh, in case there's um, a asteroid, an asteroid field was mentioned, so I'm worried about a um, an upcoming arcade sequence. But let's try this. Hey, yeah. Sector H H. It is. I will proceed with course entry. Oh, I like the colour. Ah. Oh. Hey, wait a minute! Where do you think you're going with my ship? <gasps> Was that the mugger? Hey, that serves you right. Off you go into the purple yonder. I like that little 
um, they're sort of overwritten the image with um, black and a text box like a little speech bubble. That's a nice effect. Bye, Corona. Well done, Cat Sequences. You've managed to overcome the elements of Corona, from endless deserts and spider droids to obnoxious salesmen and bad booze. Yes, the sand in your boots will forever serve a reminder of this forsaken planet. You should feel proud, but now Destiny awaits with an even greater challenge. And you know what? I'm going to leave that challenge until the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.